Hello, boys and girls. After a few days break, I am back on Mars. And uh, the very unfortunate uh, Dr. Liam is in my uh, platform in capable hands. Anyway, this is Waking Mars. And I should do my best to wake it. And now I want to know where exactly are we? Hmm. Oh, and that the red, that's magma. Huh. So where did I come from? Oh, this one is the cool cavern, the the one that reminded me of the uh, uh, the silicon algae or some sort of uh, unicell thingy. Okay, so I came through here and now I came through here. But what will happen if I go back to the way I came? I'm, I'm a bit, bit confused here right now. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay. So this is this is the cool cavern here, and this one should lead to that structure thingy, I think. Oh, I think I've been here. Oh, yeah, it's this one. First, waterfalls or magma? Well, since, uh, since I've taken a few days uh, off, I think this cave is a better bet. Oh yeah, that's, that's where this uh, volcanic structure or whatever structure it is shows. So I have some of these, some of these, water, and of course the standard issue. And I think I wanted to get to know... Ow! Ooh, sorry. I think I wanted to get to know the uh, cavern before I started building anything in here. Oh, and this structure is... Congratulations! Part of I have it. discovered a living example for study. <laughs> and this is the same type of Megazoa as the deceased example we encountered earlier? It is immense and complex. Alert! Of the known Megazoa, this Megazoa is the most enormous and the most availing. We will call it a Levitron. This Levitroph is capable of availing the electrochemical energy provided by the Alveopyrus. That is a strange symbiosis. It lives on the power generated by the harvesters. No. This Levitroph does not require Alveopyrus for livelihood. The Alveopyrus energy provides an unknown function. Neurons. It is 81.124% likely that this function will become less unknown <laughs> when the biomass in this chamber reaches level 5. Holy fuck. Mm -mm -mm. Um, they are most certainly insinuating some neuro... neuro shit going on. Electrochemical activity, come on. What else could it be? Hmm, so I can't penetrate this. At least not yet. Got some seeds over there. This is some sort of central hull or husk or trunk or whatever. Okay. This bugger here, this bugger here. So the other the other one was just an Anti-chamber. Oh, Ruby. Do I have some compost? Nope. <laughs> Check 
called the disco. whatever it is biological oh okay so I have got I have got this and now I would like to feed it As I understand it, these life forms consume minerals from the rock, whatever it is in the atmosphere, water, and as a byproduct, excrete magic that heals you. Mm -hmm. I can live with that. spot for uh, for those uh, floating seeds okay and I understand this is the barrier this is some sort of well let's call it engine room
I'm going to pop one of these since this is a uh, since this is a um, hazardous environment to begin with. Why not celebrate that with some with some uh, floating bombs? Oh yeah, that's good. Carry on. And you, groove on. Uh oh. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant either. Uh, I just wanted to water it. That's, that's all. Planted itself. <laughs> okay, let's check out some science here. Hazards. Highly exotic. Huh. You don't say. Okay. Okay. Acid, yes. Acid slime, yes. Throw water. Okay, I'm guessing that this builds up some sort of pressure, so I would have to disrupt it somehow, periodically. Reminds me of the uh, Strugatsky novel. I think it was called. Wait, it was about Venus, about uh, about uh, scientist crew going to Venus and uh, and discovering uh, also some natural uh, hazard. Or so. I think it was uh, like atomic explosion or something. And uh, you could uh, you could tell it was about to happen because some uh, uh, telltale uh, microorganisms formed uh, a red circle or a circle of fire around it, something like this. So the telltale sparks, gotcha. Mm. Okay, so this works the same way as the acid does. to visit the level changer so that my progress will be saved. 
I'm assuming that will save my progress. And uh, the seed. Ow! Oh, the seeds here. I'm going to leave them here uh, in case I, I need them badly. Hello, thank you. Uh oh. Bam. Uh, so, what was it about research? sure what the new information was. Oh, but what about this one? Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so this is the same life form that grows two different types of thingies. But like uh, like a garden of all the basic uh, life forms. You've got your oh no 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 no! You've got your alkalines. You've got your acidics. You've got uh, the head crabs. You've got uh, the uh, floaty bladders and so much more. Whoa! The new new cover just open up. I guess this will qualify as a safe area. Incubator and the seed trap. Okie dokie. Uh oh. So 
did it save before I had the chance to uh, to discover this? Oh, okay, they are in place. Did I do that or when? Whoa, 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 don't bite me in the ass. Please don't. I would very much rather if you didn't. Very, very much. Okay, one regular bugger here. So, yeah, from what I can tell, game. Oh, sh shit. Huh? Excuse me? Ferenzo Fireball? Huh? This, 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 this. Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna read the research, but before that, I'm gonna finish my theory. It seems that the game is uh, insinuating or giving clues that uh, these life forms aren't actually like complete organisms, but uh, compared to Earth life, they might be more like uh, the thingies, thingies organelles uh, inside uh, single cells, maybe. Anyway. Oh, okay. So, magma plus fireballs, bad. Uh, actually, oh. I had a very, 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 very nasty plan here. I plan to kill this plant life form. I plan to kill this life form here with its own seeds. 
and plant the bitey one in its stead so that uh, this corner wouldn't have the extra extra hazard. Huh? Okay, I guess it's immune to its own seeds. Smart. I guess. into acid. I mean, whoa! Was, was that bad? I mean, certainly it can't be good. What does the research say? to do. I am too afraid to move. Okay, the water doesn't do shit here. Oh. <sighs> okay, sorry for that. It was the... Um, the uh, wireless uh, modem lost uh, signal. Then it starts to seek one out and uh, brings on the interference and uh, started lamenting something. And when I quick travel in order to heal myself, whee! actually, I w I'm going to quick travel right back into this cave. Yes. So yeah, apparently I have helped to create a bit of an explosive situation here which I'm not sure I can handle, at least not fully. started feeding on them. Which one opened? I'm assuming it's out. It's this one. Yep, this one. I'm gonna plant some water seeds here. Ow! Shit, 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 shit. Whoa! planting any of the explosive buggers in here then they are they are going to destroy stuff or maybe not hmm. Hmm. I, I have to try
these buggers would would be would be feeding on the head crabs and produce seeds. And vice versa. Oh, oh, it's brilliant. No explosives here. I know now. I'm going to that uh, cavern full of the. Uh, yep, the little buggers, they don't seem to like the. like the. Uh, bread seeds. Bam. the the boogers. Booger, 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 booger. Uh oh. So I want to build a somewhat self-sustaining system here, but I do not want to be part of that system. Especially not by getting eaten. Mm-hmm. 
Why can't I? Am I in the bottom or something? Okay, so next time a seed drops like this, it would theoretically... Yep. Okay, my mission here is somewhat complete. some compost agenda going on. But what was it for? Was it for the uh, bee cavern or, or something? Yeah, thank you. Or was it for this one? well now. And the question is whether I should continue towards the outside or this magnificent structure. Hmm. I'm going to take a break here and return shortly. So bye bye for now and see you soon. <laughs>